guys, this is Anu from Delicious and DIY and today I have a super fun project that we're going to be making today. It's these adorable DIY rose flower magnets. Let's jump into the materials that I use, which is the Easy Mold Silicon Putty, a flower shaped mold, I used a fast cast resin, a magnetic sheath, uh, a few disposable cups, and a pair of scissors. The Easy Mold Silicon Putty comes in two parts, a purple part and a white, and when you combine both of them, it becomes a silicone mold. Scoop out equal parts of the purple and equal parts of the white. You will have about 3-4 to four minutes of working time with the silicone putty before it starts hardening up and taking up shape. This was my first time playing around with the silicone putty, and honestly, it was so much fun. Place both the white and the purple balls together to see if they are the same size and then start mixing it. It will only take about a minute before it is fully combined together. Make it into a ball and then press your item into the silicone putty. I went with the flower shaped container to take a mold and then wrap around the silicone putty all around the mold. Also press out any air bubbles that are forming. The silicone putty takes about 25 minutes to cure. So I kept my rose flower container inside of the putty until it was fully dry. And after 25 minutes, you will be able to take out your container and have the perfect mold of the item. You will see that the mold will keep its shape even if you press it around. To create the magnets, I went with the fast cast resin. Pour in equal amounts into a disposable cup. Stir for about a minute before you can pour it into the mold. I let my mold cure for about 24 hours before I pour it into fast cast resin. But if you want to speed up the process, you could bake the mold in a 350 Fahrenheit oven for about 25 minutes. When it's cooled, you will be able to pour the resin. In a couple of minutes, the color of the fast cast resin will change white and it will turn completely solid. It will take about 25 to 30 minutes to completely harden and then after that you will be able to take it out of the mold pretty easily. It literally pops out. After that I cut out some magnets and attached it using E6000 glue. Let it dry before you go ahead and start painting. I chose multi-surface paints for this project. I played around with the ombre style technique going from light to dark paint colors. For instance, in this case, the center part of the flower was a light green and then a medium green and then the outside I used a darker green. But I did the same ombre technique on all the magnets. I did a purple and pink variation, a light to a dark blue variation. Even though it was a lot of work, I think the results are pretty good. Another example is this red magnet. I did the same thing, chose a lighter color in the middle which was the yellow paint and then I transitioned out using orange and a darker red. That was the whole process and this is how my DIY rose flower shape magnets turned out. If you guys like this project, be sure to subscribe and I will list down all the materials and supplies used on this project down below. These magnets are also available for purchase in my shop. The link will be posted down below as well. And I will see you guys next week with another video. Bye guys!